A couple of weeks ago, I introduced you to the news that there was a family of chemicals had been banned from garden centres in Australia. They're called neonicotinoids. Now, you might not be concerned about this, but it's really important for the health of our bee populations in Australia. You see, in America, in the last 10 years since this particular chemical family arrived, over 50% of their pollinating bees have disappeared. And you might be thinking, well, what's the big deal with that? Well, one in three mouthfuls of food that we consume is a result of pollination of honeybees. Without them, a third of the world's population is not going to be able to get their hands on good quality food. So the reality is those pesticides help a lot of us to control some pretty irritating bugs. The good news is there are natural options available and this is what you should be looking out for. It's safe on bees, safe on humans, has one day withholding period before consuming crops and controls most chewing, sucking and darn right annoying pests as well. The spray is called Beta Bug and it's been around for a while for those of us who know how it works. It's made completely of natural ingredients, including chilli, garlic and pyrethrum, a natural insecticide from African daisies. The combination of these ingredients controls all sorts of chewing and sucking insects. So things like caterpillars, but also those suckers like aphids and thrips are all controlled by a spray over the foliage. And here's the thing, the combination does some instant solution stuff for you, controls them instantly, but also it does some preventative stuff, so it repels insects away as well. So apply it on a dry day and you're not going to see bugs for a long time. As far as pets go, if you apply late in the day and bring the animals inside for the night, the next day the garden's going to be fine for them. The chilli in this mixture can upset their delicate nose and eye membrane, so give the mixture a few hours to dry. Another tip, this is a contact spray, so don't spray before rain or before sprinklers run. The longer it remains on the foliage, the longer pests will stay away. If it does rain, wait until things are dry and maybe a few days of dry weather are ahead. Then give the plants another spray over the foliage. And one more thing, a lot of people ask me about ant control this time of the year, and I've got to tell you, this is a fantastic way to repel them out of the house. As rain comes, they will want to move indoors. If you see an ant trail, just go and spray along the line. And this also works for some of the other bugs that come inside, things like earwigs, slaters, and even cockchafers. Best of all, it's safe on beneficial insects and bees.